G'day, Aussie Contractor here. I meant to take some head cam footage of me spreading the rest of the paddock and talk a bit about what was going on, but I mustn't have pressed the record button properly. So what I'm doing here is I've got a small paddock of lucerne that um, has become infested with snails. So I'm spreading on some snail trail, which is just uh, one brand of metahal dyed snail pellets. I'm spreading this on it. 20 kilos to the hectare. It's only a small paddock, so I borrowed a bike spreader to do it with. I could have mixed it in with some fertiliser and flung it on, but I wasn't planning on fertilising the loosen at the moment, and it desperately needed the snails getting under control. Conditions are perfect for spreading slug baits, cool and overcast and slightly damp, and the slugs are out in force, even, even at this time in the daylight. The paddock was also suffering quite badly from loosened flea, so the night before I took this video, I sprayed the paddock off with some chlorophos, and that's taken care of the aphids quite well. Geez, for the heck, there's not much we can try and put it out like that. Open it right up. spread of them, pellets. This one's already having a munch on it. Didn't take him long. Um, see on the leaves here the brown patches. That's from the aphids. Um, sucking on them. I sprayed them last night. I can't actually see any, which is good. There's a lot of slugs there, just look at them all, heaps of them. Everywhere. I'll probably need to do another dose of, uh, of these pellets next week. Let's see how many I can get rid of in this, this pass. Slugs is what takes these big chunks out of the leaf. Lucian's been a bit of a struggle to, to get going well. I uh, established it in the spring last year and we had an awful summer. It was extremely dry. Dry and hot. Um, I was planning to water it more, um, but I just, I just ran out of water and they just had enough of the potatoes. So I you know, got, got three waters and then, then I, just, I couldn't spare any more. So the weeds kind of took over. Um, so I basically gave up on it for the rest of the summer, let it fend for itself, and then, oh, probably about six weeks ago, burnt all the weeds off with a bit of um, spray seed and a couple other things, and it's done a great job of getting rid of the weeds. Now it's got, a, it's still a bit of sorrel in here, but that's about it. Before we had a heap of fumatory, which is awful, it grows, grows this high, and it's just 
chokes out everything. This here is fumatory. So, hopefully we can get this loose and growing well. And, uh, little square bales is the plan for it. There's quite a demand for it for horses around. Not really around here, but further up the coast. So that's the plan, and hopefully we can keep the weeds out of it. We'll probably spray them again soon because there's lots of fumatory coming up. The thing is, it does so well in dry. The weeds will grow just about anywhere, anytime. How many of these snakes? Thanks for watching.